Okay, so today we have Morrissey and Dagenham. Dave, Dagenham, Dagenham. Anyway, um, we're going to get into this one. Uh, I know it's a place in uh, the UK. Anyway, um, so yeah, this was a single off of Southpaw Grammar. So we're going to get into this one, the lead single, actually. So yeah, we're going to get into it, talk about it after just over three minutes. Let's see what's going on. And uh, yeah. Dagenham Dave by Morrissey. Um, I, I, you know, it, it doesn't matter what song it is, it seems. Uh, there's always going to be one, at least one line, uh, you know, especially, you know, as it says here in the third verse, you know, um, one line of like, you know, self, not, maybe not self-deprecation, because I don't know if Morris is talking about himself here, if he's Dagenham Dave, um, but you know, the whole thing about, you know, he loved the touch, but uh, he might self-combust, and I could say more, but you get the general general idea, uh, which I thought that was funny. Anyway, I had to say that off the top, but um, Dagenham Dave here, um, <laughs> the catchy chorus, I have to also say, uh, and I like how there was, I guess, the backup, uh, you know, there's backing vocalists, uh, I guess, in the third chorus there, too, and uh, yeah, I have to also say, and also, I gotta say, very melodic, you know, intro, I mean, the chorus, <laughs> or uh, not the chorus, the first verse that he, you know, comes in with the song you know head in the clouds and a mouthful of pie you know uh just i don't know just odd lyrics i don't know i just didn't expect this kind of lyricism in the song mouthful of pie head in the head, head in a blouse everybody i can't talk everybody loves them i see why uh and i mean i i, I did see you know 
uh, some back and forth, basically. You know, I saw some people say that this song, you know, kind of is boring. I saw some say that it's very good. Uh, and I have to say, you know, just from the chorus alone, when he's just, you know, dagging them, Dave, dagging them, Dave. Uh, and I see that, you know, somebody, some, so I did see one comment saying that, you know, he kind of just drones on or something. But honestly, I, you know, just during the pause there where I took a break, that was in my head the whole time, basically. Uh, you know, just, I don't know. It's just that continuous of dagging them, Dave. It's just, I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, it's just, I thought it was, it gets stuck in your head. It's very catchy. That is one thing. Um, and also, you know, just talking about the whole very good thing. Uh, and just, I, I, it was kind of also, you know, I, again, with Southpaw Grammar, I do get a different feeling with this album than other Morrissey albums that I've listened to, you know, songs from other Morrissey albums that I've listened to. And uh, with Southpaw Grammar coming out, uh, when did this song come out? 1995. Um, and honestly, you know, 1995, you know, you think of UK Britpop, really, in 95, you know, Oasis and Blur were going at it and all that stuff. Um, and, you know, Pulp was a thing. Uh, obviously, it was a thing. They were very, you know, talented as well. And uh, and I love Pulp. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, Britpop is, you know, pretty big. And uh, I can see, you know, I do get some, I don't know why, but I do get some Britpop vibes or something, you know, Morrissey was just kind of a unique thing that he was doing here for some reason that's what comes to my mind and uh you know again just with whole you know 1995 was you know the year of Britpop it seemed anyway for especially in the UK um but anyway yeah again the musicians of this one I'm just looking at Wikipedia you know Morrissey on lead vocals yes Alan White and Boz Bohr on guitar Johnny Bridgewood on bass and Spencer Cobber on drums and I've always said about Spencer Cobber I love his drums uh I just love his style I don't know why it's just it's just I don't know I like his I like him a lot. Anyway, and uh, yeah, so I don't know, but yeah, the whole bird pop thing and uh, did, uh, did give me those vibes. And uh, again, uh, like I saw people saying, you know, the song isn't, you know, his best or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, it's not, as, it's no, I guess, uh, not his best or whatever, you know, but I thought, again, it was very catchy. And I just like, uh, you know, the verses again, it's just, you know, his still, his wit is there. His voice is so clear. And uh, honestly, during uh, the pause there that I took, um, I did watch the, the music video for the song because, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I just wanted to hear it again just to get more. I mean, I, I don't know. Cause I, after the first listen there, um, I didn't, I, I don't feel like I got everything I needed to, to, to talk about it or whatever. So I did look at the video and uh, again, I don't watch the video cause again, it's on vivo and I mean, vivo and me, I don't know. They always block everything. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but I mean, some people can react to it for some reason, but then I, get my video taken down automatically anyway but uh, i like the video and where morrissey's just following this couple around and uh kind of just stalking them and they're just fine with it and uh, i thought it was very uh, charming and uh <clears throat> and yeah and i mean morrissey then this again 1995 um you know just looking dapper as ever and uh yeah so i thought it was a good i thought it was a funny music video and how at the end i mean uh, you know, how at the end there, uh, I guess, you know, his uh, Dagenham Dave's wife or whatever girlfriend leaves him. And, uh, yeah, so it was just like, you know, poor Dagenham Dave here. And, uh, I thought it was uh, pretty, pretty funny. Good music video as well. And, uh, again, just the third verse is my favorite. You know, he loves to touch. He's afraid that he might self combust. Uh, I could say more, but you get the general idea. And I was like, you know, uh, the rhyming scheme or whatever you know sometimes you know a line like i could say more but you get the general idea that's kind of hard to fit in a song or to rhyme with anything or whatever and here it doesn't rhyme with anything um but it just i don't know morrissey makes it fit that's one other thing you know and again his wit his his voice here and uh he can you know it kind of i was gonna say uh it's kind of funny to compare but it's like a, like a, a rapper or something, you know, somebody like Eminem, you can, you can fit words to make them sound right, even when they shouldn't or something. I don't know, but that's what comes to mind. And uh, yeah, so again, I loved the kind of Brit pop vibe I got. Again, it was 95, so maybe Morrissey was looking out there. Um, and also I did see in the video, because again, uh, apparently in like <laughs> for Southpaw Grammar, Morrissey was kind of obsessed with boxers, I guess, uh, you know, boxing, you know, boxers, not, you know, not their boxer briefs. Um, so in the video, he does look a little rough in the face or whatever. Um, but I guess I, I saw a comment saying that he was, you know, so obsessed with boxing and such that he kind of made himself look kind of rough. I don't know, just for the video. So I don't know if that's true or what, but, uh, I don't know. I think that's, a, it's just interesting. I don't know. Morrissey's just a freaking he's, he's an odd duck sometimes, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, anyway, yeah, I really enjoy the song. I mean, I feel like, uh, for the, my reaction there, um, I didn't, you know, I, and I would say, but it's another thing, you know, I, I have a hard time looking, you know, blown away when I really am. 
I don't know. I just, I'm not very, I don't know. I don't really show too much emotion sometimes, even for a song that I like. Um, and I'm just like, yeah, that was really good. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I thought this was really good. And again, the video was funny to me. And, uh, you know, just Morrissey following this couple. And uh, <laughs> it's just weird. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting. And again, um, the whole thing, you know, I don't know. Maybe you can say in the comments what you think of the song. Um, if you like it or if you don't like it. Because, again, I've seen, you know, both opinions. Uh, people saying that it was a piss poor effort. And some people saying that it was very good. And, uh yeah anyway so yeah thanks for watching again thanks for you know enjoying another morsi friday i know i get a lot of comments people saying that they enjoy this and i'm glad to do it so anyway thanks again for watching talk to you guys again soon i don't know if i already said but thanks for liking subscribe and comment all that stuff i really appreciate all the support and i'll see you guys again soon